everybody welcome back to my channel um, I've got a vintage chic sense water to share with you today um, having not made up my mind about this company I wanted to make another purchase um, I think I'm warming to them as in <laughs> I think I'm actually starting to like them when I first started melting their stuff um, I wasn't really getting a big throw from it um, but since it's been sitting and after a few months, I found that some of the things are quite amazing and throw really well and they're quite strong. Um, so actually, I'm, I think I'm more leaning towards that I, I'm liking this company um, and I know a lot of people do. So um, I'm really glad I've given them a chance um, because I'm actually really liking their scent combinations. Um, yeah, and the wax is so pretty. The colors, the pastel colors, they're so pretty in the shapes. So, um, okay, so this was the first time I've actually ordered on opening. Um, last year when I purchased a couple of times, it was more like a three or four hour window of when they would open. Um, and it was usually like in the middle of the night when I was asleep or early hours of the morning. So I would wake up and whatever was left, I'd grab some of that. So this was the first time of actually ordering um, when they said they would open, which was at, okay, so they were opening on Thursday, the 13th of April at 4pm, and in Sydney time, that was on a Friday morning at 7am, which was great because I was on holidays at that time, and it was a decent enough hour where I could be ready and be on the website ready to purchase. Now, because it was the first time that I'd been on at opening time, I was kind of like freaking out and I had every I had all my tabs open of everything that I wanted. Um, when it was the time to open, I um, reloaded everything and then I added everything to my cart and I found that... Um, not everything added to my cart. Some things were like hanging, like it was the page was reloading and reloading. Um, and I was like freaking out and I didn't want to lose everything. I had no idea how fast things went because I've never um, purchased anything right on opening before. So I just checked out with what I had. And then later when I checked out, I went back and <laughs> had a look at what I'd actually um, missed. So I did miss um, a Blossom Bar duo that I wanted in uh, the Cookie Monster duo. Some fall packs I missed. Um, I probably got yeah, maybe half of what I wanted, maybe a little bit over half. Um, I think next time what I'll do is actually take those extra few minutes and reload um, the pages that didn't load and add more um, into my card. I was just really scared that I was going to lose stuff, so I just checked out with what I had. But... It's all, you know, learning about how it works. So next time I'll be ready and I'll be a little bit more patient about um, making sure things are added to my cart. Anyway, sorry for talking so much about that. I just wanted to share that because that was a new experience for me and I just thought it might be useful for other people. So um, this is the sample I got. So the samples are, have changed. It's more of a... Um, actually, I'll get one. I'll go and get one of what they used to look like. Okay, so this is what the samples used to come like in this little tiny scent shot. That's what I purchased last time. And this is what the new sample is like. So it's a lot. Whoop, where is it? What's on the top? <laughs> okay, so it's a lot bigger. I'd say it's probably twice as big a sample, which is cool. Great. So this is the sample I got this time. It's um, the Philadelphia Story. And when I smelt it, I thought, oh, yeah, that's that's okay. I can smell cherry in it, which I'm warming to. And then I looked up the description, and it's strawberry passion pistachio pudding cake cotton candy frosting. And I don't do pistachio, but I think there's enough of the strawberry and sweetness that the pistachio is more like a cherry note in this. And... I don't mind it, so I think I may actually melt this. Um, some of this order, I think about oh, let's see, four, four of the um, these flower four packs, four of those are for my mum, 
and I know she would not like this sample so I might just find um, one of the samples I've got in my last order and give that to her okay so that's a sample um, so I got some flower four packs and I think this is the first time I've managed to snag some of these because these usually go fast because they're a cheaper way of um, trying different scents so I've got this one Annabelle doll which I've tried before and I really like so I got it again and it's cranberry strawberry and pomegranate and these are gorgeous I would probably cut this in half and put it over two warmers in the same area just to spread the scent out a bit and this is beautiful Yeah, I think I get the cranberry and the pomegranate first. Like they stand out. Put a bit of cranberry. And that strawberry's in the background. It's a really, really lovely and unique scent. Unique scent. Very good. Um, these four packs are sold as 4.2 to 4.4 ounces. And they range, my, my lot range from 4.3 to 4.9. So it's really good value. You're getting what you, what you pay for. Put that back there. Okay, this one, um, these next four are for my mum and they are beautiful. <laughs> um, Betty Page, which is um, Satsuma Blonde Moment Noel. Mm, it's really actually quite strong. That Satsuma and Blonde Moment really shine. Mm, I'm guessing what is Noel Vanilla? Noel. I'm sure that's in there somewhere, but the other two are so strong that, yeah, that is super strong on the cold, which is great. Okay, coal miner's daughter is a blueberry muffin cornbread. Mm, and I find cornbread is really dominating, a really strong scent. When I smell the the flower coin thing I get the cornbread first <sighs> I'm not sure if I'm getting blueberry um, I'm sure it will come out when it's when it's melted but I mainly get um, cornbread from that it's, it's nice it's a nice cornbread um, the ever popular midway treats it's only been offered in one restock um, so far because it's a new scent a customer creation scent and it is saltwater taffy cotton candy frosting and fluffy marshmallow and I know a lot of people are loving loving this from what I've seen and read oh it's very sweet it's really nice it smells bad. it's probably not as strong as the others but it's very very like lolly sweet um, it's quite nice that that might need some curing because it's um, lighter, but it's a really nice, pretty scent. And this is Sunny Side of the Street, which is a lemon coconut butter cake. Oh, that's so good. Oh my gosh. I want this. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I'm getting the lemon and the coconut. And the cake, oh my gosh, that is so good. I need more of, I need that. That's <laughs> unfortunately my mum's. That is beautiful. It's such a lovely, oh my goodness, that is blended so well. That is beautiful. Beautiful. This is the Happy Everything Quartet. And it comes with four of these gorgeous flowers, which you could easily cut into four. They're huge. And this one is in Sweetheart Smoothie. Ah, oh, there we go. And this is in the scent. Uh, the scents are Sweet Candy Marshmallow. Oh, yeah, it's definitely. It is more of a candy scent rather than. See, I think the salt water taffy is like a, a lolly scent, but this is. This is more musky, I think. Like a musky candy kind of scent. Um, it's, it's okay. Let's see how that melts. Alright, this one, which I've heard about 
before. It sounds really awesome. Haven't tried it before. Bomb Pop Martini, which is blue raspberry cherry slushy with lemon lime fizz. Mmm. Am I getting fizz? Maybe a little fizz. Mmm. Mm, it is very cherry. Um. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I like that. I'm glad I just got a small amount to try it. Okay, and this one is Vampira. Vampira. And this is Cranberry Pomegranate Blackberry Punch. Which sounds lovely. Mm, I get the cranberry and the pomegranate. Um, blackberry. Mm, I'm mainly getting the cranberry and pomegranate in that. And the last one in that quartet is the Grinch, which is Cranberry, Orange, Mulberry, Moscato. Oh, oh my gosh, I can smell the Moscato. I love Moscato to drink. Oh, this is really different. I'm going to put it back in and smell. Um, am I like getting the Moscato? I'm not sure what mulberry smells like. Maybe a bit of the orange. Um, I reckon that's going to need to cure a bit because it's not. I'm mainly getting Moscato and the other the other scents maybe need some time to come out in that. Okay, and the best thing in the order is this. Ta-da! The Vintage Carnival Sampler. There were a lot of scents I wanted to try um from this restock and a lot of them were in this there's only one in here which i know i probably won't like and it has pistachio in it um but everything else sounded really good i love what comes in this bag this big bag tied up in a bow it's like a little present just for me and there are so many cents in here um it's advertised as being 37 and a half ounces it's 42 ounces. How good is that? And it was $46.40. $46.40. So I'll go through the scents. Put it out. I love samplers. I love getting a whole range of things because then you can work out what you like and what isn't your favourite <laughs> um, without committing to a huge amount. So, oh my gosh, I can smell, I can smell something, something's really strong. Okay, so I'll go through them all over here. This one is Freak Show, and Freak Show is watermelon, cucumber, watermelon, mint. Actually, that's quite strong. I wonder if this is what's coming out, I can smell. Oh, wow, okay, yeah, that's... Actually, have I tried this before? Not my favourite, but it's really fresh. I get all of those. Watermelon, cucumber. Hang on, what have I written down? Watermelon, cucumber, watermelon, mint. I think it's just watermelon, cucumber, mint. I think. Yep, that's what I'm getting. Put a little bit of mint. The mint isn't overly strong. Hmm. Nice and fresh. Okay. This one, the Winged Mermaid. I am kind of liking these kind of spa fresh scents more and more lately. Um, this is Shimmering Blue Lagoons, Salty Sea Air and Coconut. Mmm, oh, this is really good. I get the coconut. It's a very fresh sort of water-like scents, really nice, really lovely. Uh, the Mind Reader is Blackberry Pear Cider. Gorgeous. Oh, the cider is definitely strongest. And I get a bit of, oh, that's really nice. Oh. This is really nice. And the pear and a bit of blackberry. This is beautiful. Mmm. That's great. 
that's probably my favourite so far. I really like that. Mm -hmm. uh, the Knife Thrower's Girl is um, Passion Fruit, Strawberry and Sparkling Champagne. Oh, what is that? Is it the Sparkling Champagne? Oh, there's something musky about it there's something oh i don't know if i like that i'm not sure mm. Mm. i'm not sure about that i don't know if i'm getting um, i don't know if i'm getting passion fruit or strawberry and the champagne smells different to i'm not sure mm. okay <laughs> Uh, midway treats, which we had before, but I'll just see if it smells the same. Yeah. Mm, it is very nice. Salt water taffy, cotton candy frosting, and fluffy marshmallow. Mm, sweet goodness. It's very nice. I can see why that one's popular. Um, State Fair is funnel cake topped with strawberries and powdered sugar. Mm. I think I'm getting the strawberry. <sighs> Funnel cake's usually strong, isn't it? I don't know if I'm... Yeah, it's there. I think I'm getting the strawberry out of that one. That's quite nice. Mm -hmm, that one's a good one. Um, spun Sugar Sugar, which is an exclusive VCS strawberry blend with cotton candy. Oh, that colour's so pretty not showing it it's a lot lighter than it's showing it on the on the camera oh it's quite light it does smell like sweet lolly strawberry oh my goodness it's gotten dark okay here we go here we go it's not very strong but it's really it's really nice um step right up is um Step right up is cotton candy marshmallow raspberry glazed donut. That sounds beautiful. That sounds lovely. Oh wow, that's really nice. I'm getting all of that in that. Probably would like that one to cure a bit longer to get stronger. Okay. Uh, this is the one La Femme Amphibie, which is uh, pistachio pudding, zucchini cake, and raspberry jam. I don't think I'm going to like this. Yeah, I just get pistachio. I don't smell anything else in there. But I knew I wasn't going to love that one. Okay, Atlantic City is strawberry peach taffy. Pretty. I definitely get the peach. Smells like a fruity, a fruity peach. Mm. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of strawberry in that. Some sweetness maybe from the taffy. That's quite nice. Uh, trolley song. I wanted to try this one. It's mango sorbet swirled with waffle cone bits. Yeah, it's nice. Maybe we get mango. I think. Mmm, like a bit like a creamy mango, maybe? Yeah, I probably want that one to cure a bit longer to get stronger. Um, this one is Nucky's Boardwalk, which is uh, cotton candy, caramelized apples, funnel cakes. Which is VCS Circus Concession Type, which I love from other vendors. Mm, yep. Yeah, that's really nice. It's good. It smells like what it, what it says. Um, World's Fair of 1939 is salted caramel popcorn. Oh, 
Oh, that's quite strong. Mmm, it's very good salted caramel popcorn. I actually really like that. That's lovely. And two more. South Pacific Shave Ice, which is strawberry, raspberry, guava, pineapple, and creamy orange. Yum. So fruity. Oh, yeah. That guava. I can smell that. And the creamy orange. Maybe a bit of that pineapple. Mm, that's really nice. Really lovely, fruity, strong, strong fruity scent. And the last one is Sweet Ferris Wheel Dreams. Um, wanted to try this as well. Uh, this is lavender, vanilla, fresh picked strawberries, and pink sugar and zucchini bread. That sounds really good. Mmm, that's good. I get the vanilla, uh, the lavender, and the pink sugar and the zucchini bread in that. It's really, really lovely. Okay, so that's the last one from the sampler. Um, I think I'll let them just maybe cure for a little bit longer um, and then try some of the stronger scents from that. Um, yeah, some of them are really quite nice. Um, yeah, I'm glad I gave them another try. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. And let me know what your favourites were from the Vintage Carnival restock and which scents I should try. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.